and thank you for joining us for today's February the 17th Thought for the Day. The readings for today are taken from Exodus 28, Psalm 83 and 84, and Mark chapter 13. The title for today's theme is, In Whose Heart Are the Highways To? Today, we travel on highways, freeways, and motorways. Different countries call them different names. These allow us to travel at speed to our destinations. Our thoughts raced along these lines as we read Psalm 84, and the words he addressed to God. Blessed are those whose strength is in you, and in whose heart are the highways to Zion. Verse 5. Let us all create a highway in our heart for godly thoughts. And then the distances of this godless world can be more easily brushed aside. The psalmist continues, they go from strength to strength. Each one appears before God in Zion. This is an exhilarating picture of strength that grows in those who have developed the right kind of highway in their hearts. They will reach a wonderful eternal destination, one beyond our imagining. Sadly, we see around us more and more examples of those who have developed the wrong kind of highways in their hearts. Almost as bad are those who try to maintain two kind of highways. One makes more noise than the other and so ends up getting more and more use. We notice the humble ambition of the psalmist. I would rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than dwell in the tents of wickedness. Verse 10. Some, in their youth, have great ambitions for their lives, but sadly we hear and read too many examples of those who sacrifice principles and integrity in their efforts to achieve them. They will realise, probably too late, that their highway has really been directed towards mammon, instead of toward Zion. But the psalmist would rather be a doorkeeper. And what a privilege that would be. Imagine being a doorkeeper in God's house of prayer for all nations. Mark 11 verse 17. What experiences, what a privilege. Finally, let us absorb the meaning of the words that are used to end this psalm. We read, The Lord is a sun and a shield. The Lord bestows favour and honour. No good thing does he withhold from those who walk uprightly. O Lord of hosts, blessed is the one who trusts in you. Can you feel the warmth of the sun and the protection of the shield of the Lord that he provides? Let us feed constantly on his word It will provide the motive force for our hearts as we head towards Zion. And how much more will this be needed as that destination gets closer, but the distractions get greater? for joining us for today's thought for the day we pray you found it helpful if you did please share it with a friend and remember all you do today try and do to the glory of god acknowledging that the antidote to sin is not only not to sin but to do good please join us again tomorrow for another thought for the day god bless and thank you Thank you.